Hello everyone and welcome back to RP2000 in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We have under construction a three-person orbital rocket, but I think it costs so much that we should probably, while it's under construction, do some other contracts to make some money. So let's see what we've got here. Three years, I suppose I should just pick it up, but how long is it going to take to build it? Two years. <laughs> so, um, and we're hoping it'll work, but it could go very horribly wrong. Uh, I don't know about plans. We should probably speed that up a bit. Still 635 days like that, and we really don't have that much money. Ooh, this satellite, oh, position the satellite in specific orbit around the sun. That seems high. Let's not do that. <laughs> Tender orbit around Earth, that's not too bad. Stationary orbit around Mars. It's got a lot of duration. Well, let's pick that up for the money. Adjusting Serenity C, I don't know if that's even possible. But let's just quickly do two Tundra Orbit satellites. It might be harder than I think because of the exact location. But at least that will net some extra money. Yeah, we, sh we should get a boost to the value of this, I think. And for space station. Let me make a note that we should just change how much value those have. I think that's fair. Okay, but... Let's try and do some Tundra Orbits. It's just antenna that can generate power. Nothing too special. No legs necessary. Interplanetary comm dish might be good. I don't know. Let's see. Just for show, maybe. Now we do have to remember to have some backup batteries. No, that's pretty big. Well, maybe we should rethink how this looks. Well, that looks like a pretty legit satellite to me. Well, we don't have a pad limit or anything, otherwise we'd be over 40. Build 2. I just need money, darn it. I guess I have to upgrade the v uh, VAB to get more parallel build slots, right? All right, well, uh, let's let's continue building the crewed mission while we're actually trying to launch this, at least. Does it have the orbit line? I don't care which one I go for, the yellow or the purple. <laughs> either way, we're going retrograde. Um, either way, we're, either we're going slightly retrograde south, or we're going slightly retrograde north. I guess we'll go for yellow first. Too bad I can't set the orbit as a target. But it looks like we should go about 210 maybe? We'll have to adjust on the fly. Okay, 2 negative 119. We're probably crossing Florida. Throttle up, SAS is on. Ignition. We have all four engines. And launch. Two ten. Well, realism overall still hasn't found a way to stop us from doing this. Let's see now. Well, descending node is going down. Okay, staging. Ignition failure on the SE two thousand six. Darn you. Uh, is that? Like, if we could reignite activate engine again? Oh, aha, aha, we, 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 we can do that. Take that, test light. Periapsis there is 465. Timing might be a little bit off, so we can't get exactly zero or anything. We do have to worry about comms along this trajectory, though. 
eventually Florida's not got to talk to us. And then we're over the Pacific Ocean, where nobody is going to talk to us. Okay, staging. I'm worried about comms. Oh, we picked up crew. No, we picked up Keto, so we're okay. Well, we're okay with 465. It's just we need 465 to be down there. Guess it's getting down there. Okay. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to reignite. Yeah, it's just about right. The apoapsis is right down there. It's a little bit higher than we wanted, but it's probably okay. Now, do we have any comms down there? Uh oh. There's that uh, McMurdo station. There's the troll station, but I think we'll have comms through McMurdo. Okay, we have McMurdo station. I guess we should plot this, just for timing's sake. It'll take more than this stage, but that's fine. We have one more. Now it says start burn momentarily, so let's just get on with it, I think. And go. Hopefully McMurdo Station will continue to communicate with us for a long time. <laughs> Hopefully. As we pass by Antarctica. Not over, really. Okay, staging. Oh, comm line getting a bit stretched here. Okay, you know what? Just for safety's sake, because I don't want to have this go on escape, we're going to come around and do the rest of the burn after an orbit, I think. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Let's see. Let's find out. Okay, first of all, we need to... Well, we're on the nighttime side. Okay, we are recharging. Okay, so we're going to do the rest of the burn there. It does look like we'll have Troll Station helping us this time. Okay, is that good enough? Um, nope, neither of these is happy. Okay, they're being picky. Maybe... Inclination? Let's, uh, let's do that up top. <laughs> it's not a good time to do inclination. Um, well, we'll try whatever that is. One ignition failure? Well, it looks like it's holding anyway. We could shut off the opposite one. Or we could try to restart that one again, just like we did with the rocket and in flight, but it seems like this is okay anyway. Okay, it's happy. Alright, we managed to fulfill that contract. Now we need another one. This one we can leave spinning... ...like so, and it'll just hang out. It's only 0.3% done. Okay, we'll try this though. Might as well get this done. It should be the same inclination. Okay, let's try that. SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. And launch. Aggressively turning towards Florida. Much aerodynamic effect. 12 degrees, 11 degrees, all looking good. Oh no, the main dish has a communication failure. <laughs> but I don't think it understands real antennas, so it's probably okay. Okay, staging. Might as well get rid of the fairing now. 4 degrees. Well, 1 degree, I'll take 1 degree. Well, I don't mind the sending node being right at the periapsis there. I still want our apoapsis to be down there in about 
465 kilometers, so eh, I can't get quite that high this time. I'll take what I can get there. Okay. Oh, we're late. We'll have to do that two goes anyway. No, oh, maybe it's not going to give us the line to McMurdo because of our other satellite helping there. I think we'll just go and they'll, they'll be all right. Go. Okay, staging. Oh, we might be losing comms. Oh, we're back on to that satellite. Well, hopefully that'll be okay. Okay, okay, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, not surprised, it's not satisfied with that. We went too far. We are out of phase with it. Well, so we probably need to lift that periapsis, yes. Yes, we do. So let's just do that. And we'll do that up there. Okay, that is what we will do. It's a little bit off, but hopefully it'll be close enough for it. Okay, that's satisfied with that. All right, we have our two lunar... Oh, sorry, not lunar. Tundra orbit satellites. The most important thing is we got the money. Let's go back to Space Center. Okay, well, I think we've accumulated some funds. And the problem is we don't have multiple build slots. Uh, maybe I should test that, whether we actually get the second build slot when I upgrade the VAB. So I'm going to set that up, even though I probably should be upgrading the R&D building and focusing on that. And of course, this is going to cost a lot and we should probably be spending more on upgrade points as well. Um, yeah, let's do that too. The good thing is that if we recover the pod, we'll get some of the money back. Um... That, but not much, so... Okay, four, what does that get us? 552. I, I would like to be able to complete it in a year. So... I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. 491 days we'll have to do. Technology-wise, we've got some points, and... That's not going to cover the time that this takes to build, so let's see. Heavy rocketry, well, we get nice big engines like that. And we're going to need them. Uh, of course, this crude launcher has is our biggest launcher so far. Okay, I think I'm just going to go ahead and unlock flight control. We can't get the high tier stuff anyway. 149 days, well... That should be about right. We're skipping this Mars window. We'll just focus on this. Because, you know, if we don't have two build slots, we... We have to dedicate ourselves to one thing for now. Actually, if I had started the VAB upgrade earlier, we might have been able to make use of that Mars window. Oh well. I don't know, would there still be time? 56 days, maybe. 27 days to finish the VAB upgrade, if we get the second build slot. We need a Mars probe in 30 days. We've pumped in some build points, so that's good. And we wanted to be able to do the stationary orbit contract, potentially. So we can build a bigger rocket, but we don't want it to be so big that we would need a longer build time. Okay, we'll get better solar panels. Not that big. These are pretty big too. 35, well, t let's say 24 watts a piece like that. 
Okay, well, that looks like something. But let's just make everything better. We definitely don't need this arrangement anymore. So that's got to be our capture and getting into the right orbit engine. I think it's prudent to make this a little bit longer. I'm trying to put excessive margin on here. But we don't have a lot of engine redundancy, so that's not great. Probably something more powerful than this would be a good idea. Kerosene and oxygen, well we can go with this larger kerosene and oxygen engine. And should we still be using these reavers? Should it still be a Serenity rocket? Probably not. Even if we want to keep a kerosene, we should just use these SE 2100s. Or, okay. Maybe not. I mean, we probably can't fit two of them. So that's a bit of a problem. And we'll need that. Well, we could make pants. <laughs> we can make pants on it. I think we'll have to make it wider, too. Oh, uh, let's just make it 4 slash delta diameter. Okay, well, that, that makes it easier to fit the two of these. But we're not getting to 9,500 there yet, so will this be enough? Oh, we're going too long, 36 days. Hmm, we need it to be shorter. I guess we could finish up orbit with that stage. Oh, so this stage has gotten too long. It was only supposed to be a three minute stage. We could overburn it a little bit. Its thrust weight ratio is, doesn't need to be like this. Maybe more vacuum optimized engines would be good. It's not too bad in vacuum though. We could use a few of these uh, 2006 AVs instead. They're a little bit more expensive uh, by thrust. Tilt them just in case one fails. They have a five minute burn time, we might as well use it. Again, overburn is possible. It has a rated total uh, burn time like that. Oh, well, I, no, I, I reversed it, actually. It has a rated burn time of 10 minutes, and it's got overburn time of 5 minutes. So, okay. Uh, definitely can do even more than that, but that's fine for now. But here already we have 15 days. And that's 37 days. Well, I mean, going to Mars is a lot of room, and we're not using Transfer Window Planner. You know what? I'm going to sneak in Transfer Window Planner now. <laughs> so, uh, we, we're going to see about this Mars window before I commit to building this. Let me restart the game and get Transfer Window Planner in. I've been saying I wanted it, and now I'm going to get it. Okay, so now let's see. Transfer Window Planner to Mars. Uh, we definitely need an insertion burn. We don't have to have it that low, but let's just see. Okay, so uh, now gives us 33 days. <laughs> well, it's better. It's better. All right, we'll go with that. But the real question is whether we really have the two build slots or not. It's not really Serenity Mars 2, it's uh, whatever we have with these SC2100. Well, we can call it Odyssey, that, that's not an Odyssey year. <laughs> 2010 was an Odyssey, you know, one of the Space Odyssey years. But shucks, we'll just call it Odyssey Mars 2 anyway. No, Odyssey Mars 1. How about Odyssey Mars 1? Okay, that's as good a name as any. 
All right, so we'll build it. 37 days, we'll rush it a little bit, I think. If it's building. Uh, it says estimated. It doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like I have a second build slot, does it? Well, I think I have to do... Uh, maybe... Oh, we have to put build points in it. Whew. Okay, okay, okay. There's, there's possibility here. But we have to have this, um, hmm. okay, fine. We're going to move that one to the second build slot. Uh, so much for the benefits of having another build slot. We have to put more money in, but at least, you know, we, we can catch up to the build points in the first one easier because it's like double the rate as long as it's lower than the first one. Okay, okay, so it's working, and I'll rush build a little bit, and we'll take that, we'll take that. Uh, not, not the benefit I was looking for, but it's something. We'll work on that. Okay, let's launch this Mars mission. I feel like it's not giving me quite the numbers I'm used to here. Maybe I'm just missing it. Didn't there used to be another number? Oh well. Okay, anyway. We'll go when we can go. 13 hour roll rollout time. That's what I like to see. Okay, well let me just double check our comms. Seems prudent. Could have probably done it earlier. And interplanetary comm dish. It is expand. Lots of transmit power. Ooh, you know what? That's a lot of extra transmit power. Um, I don't know if this is going to have enough power with the solar panels that we have. That's only when it's active. It'll be fine most of the way, but I think that might be a problem once we get over to Mars. Uh, let me roll this back and reassess that. How did we even get by before? First of all, dish-wise, yeah, it's probably our best. Um, tenant planning, ESN, Mars. Let's say not quite max distance. Seeing if we can get down to, well, that's 64 watt, oh, that's Earth. Um, 24 watts only at Apoapsis. Maybe we should try not to be at Apoapsis. That's too much right now. Uh, it says that we still have a connection at 250 gigameters. Uh, it doesn't get any extra distance really. Uh, going from 40 to 41 doesn't help us to go from 310 to 320, so let's just go to 40 and keep it like that. That's about 42. That's pushing it though. Nope. 315? Nope. 312? Nope. 310? Yes. So we might as well just keep it to 40. 39? 39 is still okay. What, how does this math work? And is it doing it right? It seems to... It says 40.8 and then 48 decibel milliwatts here. It still seems to be doing 48 decibel milliwatts somehow. I think it's doing something wrong. Now it's got 38. Yeah, okay, so it was lying. <laughs> now it's not giving me any connection at all, no matter what. Okay, there we have. There we don't. 44, no. 46, yes. But that's only at 220. We lose it at 300. 
240, 250, no, 240 is the best we can do at 46 decibel milliwatts. I mean, it's possible that under standby it'll be all right. But at least this way it's a little bit safer. Okay, uh, we'll go with that. Three extra days. And after all this, it might all just uh, go wrong because of an engine malfunction. Okay, daytime launch. SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. We do have two engines here. And launch. And up we go. Through the clouds. And beyond max Q. Okay, we have a space like apoapsis. And separation at ignition. And fairings. Okay. Those flames seem like they need fixing. I had done the small rockets pack, but I didn't get through all of the Schurstrad engine pack ones. We really do need extending solar panels. And I suppose I should do something about that and add a new model somewhere. Incidentally, if people have engine suggestions for things they'd like to see in the Shearstrut engine pack, uh, by all means tell me, though of course it shouldn't overlap with something that's already in the pack, you know, it can't be too close to anything, maybe novel propellant mixtures or something like that. The Shearstrut engine pack is made by sort of kit bashing the parts anyway, in other words, there's like a bunch of different little pumps and nozzles and such, and I just sort of mix and match them, uh, maybe a little bit too randomly, in order to create the engines. That way it's not such a big mod, but and it's easier to have a, an array of engines all in the same mod like that. But I could probably toss in a few new um, models and textures. It could be expanded a little bit. Okay, well, this stage is looking just about enough to get us to orbit. Uh, we'll cut it short so that it can deorbit. Uh, these uh, RCS ports unfortunately do not fire backwards, so we're going to have to take an ignition out of this. Just fine, it has plenty. Okay, MechJeb says 3,953. But it'll take a year and 57 days to get there, which is amazing. Oh great, we just had an RCS port failure. And it's on the actual probe. Well, fortunately, we don't get failures when we don't pay attention to it, I think. So, there's that. But yeah, maybe also, uh, and in fact, maybe because we don't get failures when we don't pay attention to it, we should scrap O scrap because, you know, that's not exactly realistic anyway. Is there a different failure mod not Kerbalism that we could use for random parts? We just have to tweak the numbers to make sure that the failure rate is reasonable. I don't mind having failures. It's, it's good stuff, especially on crewed missions where we have engineers to fix parts. Just another level of play there, but we need it to actually work during the times when we are not focused on it. And we need to be, of course, able to reduce the rate so that it's reasonable. Okay, here we go, and ignition. Okay, we've got an orbit going out there. Oh, oh went right past. Uh, maybe if we do 
extra on the inclination bit to get it nicer. It'll be easier to actually do the burn. Okay, that would be good if we can do it. Just turning probably knocks it off completely. That's the site we have to get over, I think. Inclination zero degrees. Well, that's not too bad. But it's really high, 17,000 kilometers. Not so much of a problem. It's like below Deimos orbit, but above Phobos orbit. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Ignition failure? Well, I guess there goes that stage. <laughs> okay, fine. Be that way. Next! Okay, well, that'll have to do for now. That's pretty good. We just need an SOI change alarm. Not that SOI change. Um, let's just add a maneuver in here after a whole year and get that maneuver. Okay, so that's when it arrives. We are recharging. Got one RCS port messed up. Uh, that's an okay orientation. We'll see if it survives. So, we've got a probe that is supposed to get into a stationary orbit of Mars that's very peculiar. And next time we are going to try to launch our three crew vessel to orbit, which is very expensive, and we'll see how that goes. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.